Hi, I'm Jamison Chapman with StepCG. We're an elite Cradle Point partner, and I'm here to talk to you about some of their hardware. Today we're going to go over the IBR 1700. This is a vehicle purpose router uh, with dual modem capabilities. Let's open up the box and go through the contents. Here we've got our getting started guide, um, cradlepoint.com slash IBR 1700 start. Otherwise, you can download the Creator Point Verify app, which we'll go over in another video. Uh, it will help you load your device directly into your NetCloud very easily. This here is the IBR 1700. As you can see, it's a pretty ruggedized device. It's a military spec, it's hardened, it can take a lot of abuse and heat and cold. Here you'll see we have four LTE connectors. This is a 1200M version, so it does have a carrier aggregation abilities. And uh, you also have a GPS cable here, so you can have active GPS with dead reckoning capabilities, meaning that when you lose GPS signal, you can have this connected to your vehicle and it'll sense where your vehicle goes, and you always keep that, that place on the map. Turning the device over, we'll see that we have six Wi-Fi connectors for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. We have an expansion slot here for inputs and outputs. A good use case for this is on a school bus with a stop arm so that every time the stop arm comes out, it shoots a signal out to dispatch to let them know that they're picking up children. We also have an RS-232 port, which is great for a lot of use cases around medical and older devices. And then we have five Ethernet ports, four LAN and one WAN, all reconfigurable, and a USB. And then we have our vehicle power which would connect here into our GPIO port, and it locks in just like that. You also have inside the box the standard GPIO cable, and this allows you to hardwire this into your vehicle's electrical system, as well as two input and output leads. Let's open up the SIM door and check out a dual modem selection. This is your MC400. This modem allows you to run dual carriers simultaneously. This is an MC400 1200M-B, so it has the four LTE connectors. Take out our SIM card and remove our SIM door. And this is where you'll put your SIM card for the primary connection directly inside the 1700. These are a little tricky to get off. If you press down on this side and lift on this side, it helps a great deal. And as you can see, we have a slot here where our MC400 can slot into like that for your dual modem capabilities. For your SIM slot, we're going to take a 2FF Verizon SIM card, pop it out of its holder. And as you can see on one side, there is a notched end and then on the other side, there is a chip. You want to make sure that that chip is faced down and that the notch goes in first. So if you look in, you can barely see it, but it says SIM slot 1 and SIM slot 2. We're going to pop this one into SIM slot 1. Press it down, and you're going to feel it click into place. If you're not clicked in, you're not locked in. So click that into place. And then we take our door. We put it back on and put our screws in place. Now keep in mind this device will power off if this door is removed, so it must be firmly in place to power on. And we are going to finger tighten these so we don't strip them out. And that's your SIM installation. Now let's move on to the cellular antennas. Now typically this device is going to be paired to an external antenna with multiple leads coming inside the vehicle. Today I'm going to show you with standard cellular paddle antennas so you can just get an idea of how these are set up. And you can run these off of cellular paddle antennas, but for superior performance you definitely want to put an external antenna on your vehicle. Now you might be wondering why there's four LTE connections. 
And this is for enhanced carrier aggregation capabilities. Typically, the older models had two LTE leads. And these are really fast, and they have four. And they'll actually do 1.2 gigabits per second over the air. It's pretty fast. All right, so we got those locked in to a bit of a fan configuration. And then we'll move over here to our Wi-Fi side. Now, as you can see, you've got 2.45 gig, 2.45 gig on this side, and then the two in the middle are just five gigahertz. And typically we'll leave a couple of these open for interior use. Uh, if we have an external antenna, I'll leave a couple of these on so that there's good signal inside the vehicle. And there we are connected with antennas. So this is our Cradle Point IBR 1700. Again, ruggedized, purpose built for in vehicle use. Definitely would like to talk to you about this and putting this into your fleet. And if you have any questions, I'd love for you to talk with us and our engineers here at Step CG. It's been a pleasure talking with you, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks a lot.